And we are continuing our coverage this afternoon on the missing Buffalo boy who was found dead last month right after what would have been his 16th birthday. Funeral services were held today for Jalen Griffin. Most Buffalo's Rob Hackford was there and tells us how he's being remembered. Lauren, the words that perfectly summarize this funeral service here at True Bethel Baptist Church for Jalen Griffin are this. We lead Jalen home and wipe the tears from his family's spirit. Those sticking with me this evening and sticking with many community members who attended this service. The service being led today by many of the same people who started the search for the missing 12 year old boy back in 2020 that ended in tragedy several weeks ago. Pastor Tim Newkirk recalling the plea made back then. Where is Jalen Griffin saying they will not rest or stand with a new plea in mind who killed Jalen Griffin? Heartbreak and prayers, the focus of this funeral service, but also calls to try and make sure this doesn't happen again. The sense of relief, but it's totally disheartening what we're doing today. This is a baby who didn't even make it to his 16th birthday. So even though we do have that sigh of relief, it's very disheartening today. I mean, the community, we have, I have so much support and prayers, man, and I really appreciate that. It helps me get through it us as a family because we're all one. I want to tell them that I love them and that I miss them. Jalen's family and friends and so many others holding out for justice for Jalen's death. His death being investigated as a homicide by Buffalo police. His body found at a home on Sheffield Avenue. His father telling me this afternoon, Brian Griffin, that he won't have closure until that day comes. Reporting on your side for Most Buffalo, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.